Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, this is your lunar eclipse reading, everyone. I'm super excited about this because this is going to be a supercharged full moon. It's in the sign of Libra. It's happening on March the 24th or 25th for some of you, depending on where in the world you live. Now, what's happening with this moon is it's asking us to take charge, be the leader in our lives, to cut cords on things that no longer serve our higher purpose, especially the relationships that we have in our lives. This is where it's going to really affect you, okay? And I feel the way that you're reacting to the world and the people in it at this time, you want to be mindful and aware of how you are reacting, the energy that you're putting out into the world. Things are going to feel a little bit mixed up and I feel this is okay because we are aware that it's not us, it's the energy around us, okay? So just a second here, I've got a little friend who's just giving me a message here, so just give me a minute, yep, thank you. All right, so my little friend has said that it's very important that you pay attention to the signs and the communication coming from the universe and spirit guides. All right, you don't have to look for these signs or communication, it's going to show up for you. So clearing out the noise and allowing yourself to make room so spirit can communicate with you, okay? So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to open your reading with a guardian angel oracle deck, uh, oracle card actually, then I'm going to follow that by three pulling three three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a surrender card, something that we need to release and let go of in our lives uh, during this full moon. I'm also going to pull a heart healing message for everyone. I always find that we forget to heal our hearts along the way, especially around this full moon energy, these, this eclipse season, we definitely want to do some heart healing, okay? Then I'm going to pull a spirit animal card for you and then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's get into this reading and see what this lunar moon has in store for you. All right, Leo, let's call in spirit and open up your reading, my friends. So spirit guides, what do my beautiful Leo friends need to hear today? All right, Leo, we are getting for you worthiness. Look at that, worthiness is coming in for you. I'm going to read you the message on this card. Be a living embodiment of inner wholeness and self-acceptance. Let your dignity radiate into the world, inspiring others to embrace their own worth, Leo. You are crafted from sacred light. You, my friends, are crafted from sacred light, so know that. It's time to shine your light. You have a lot of power. There's a lot of light and power that you're meant to shine in the world here, Leo, so remember that. So, worthiness. Know your worthiness. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. All right, so nine of swords. So there's a little bit of worry here. This is a lot of swords, thoughts in your mind, things that are kind of keeping you restless here, keeping you numb, some of you. It's time to release and let this go. And I feel, you know, whenever we have this energy of the eclipse, the full moon, um, there's an energy of almost feeling like you're in the dark. This is an energy that we know and are aware that is around us, but it doesn't mean we have to sit in this place of darkness. This is why you have worthiness. It's time to shine the light from inward to the out of your world, okay? So nine of swords to begin. Now, the other thing is there is a cycle that is closing off here for you and you're about to enter a new cycle, Leo. So three of pentacles, this is all about growth in your life, Leo. It's about how you experience that growth, how you show up in the world to create this growth as well. And 
I feel support is available to you. Those of you that feel that you're not supported, there is definitely support there for you. Ask your spirit guides for that support and they will bring that into you, in for you, okay? And what's happening here, community connections, um, bonds that you're building, the way that you're communicating with people, the way that you're receiving communication here is going to be uh, affected with especially this lunar eclipse. So be mindful and aware of how you're choosing to experience um, some of the incoming energies, Leo. So what I also want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So three of pentacles here for you, Leo. And the Wheel of Fortune. So look at this. The Wheel of a Fortune is about to turn. This is that change in your situation, that formation of something taking place in your life that perhaps you have manifested in your life, Leo. Things are about to really take off for some of you. And I feel the way that this shift depends on you and your choices here, Leo. So how do you want this wheel to shift do you want it sh to shift in a way where it's favoring you or not favoring you? I also feel what's happening here is whatever cycle that you're about to enter here is going to be determined on the changes that you make in your own life, okay? I don't want this to scare you because this is where you have to put a little bit of work into your life here, Leo. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is going to be prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune. And before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you, Leo, so it might not resonate for everyone that is watching today. So if it isn't resonating for you today, Leo, please leave it behind, okay? So growth and expansion, like the possibility to see yourself in a successful position here, whatever wishes, dreams, desires that you have, Leo, these are going to come true here in this next chapter of your life. And those of you that are in disbelief of this or have no belief around your dreams and visions, you're going to go back into that same cycle, that same loop. Okay, and again, I'm not saying this to scare anyone. I just feel that the changes you need to make in your life have to happen now. And for you, Leo, right now, there's a lot you have to release and let go of. Some of you do. Not everyone has to let go of a lot of things. These are just things that actually make us not feel good. It puts us in, this, in, a, in a place where we're worrying, we're stressed out, we're feeling numb, uh, we're not wanting to move ahead, or maybe there's some fear there. Whatever these things are, the reason why they keep surfacing is because you have to address them, Leo. And, you know, are these things that are surfacing right now, these thoughts in your mind, I feel this has to do with your thoughts. Your mind is a very powerful force which creates your reality, Leo. And Whatever it, that it is that's kind of weighing down on your mind that you're thinking about, you're focusing, putting energy towards, is what is being created in your life in one way or another. In us, you know, the intensity that it is as well is the more that you focus on it, the more that you're like kind of pulled into that energy. So this is what you want to be mindful of. And with the eclipse season, we've got these energies right now that are more potent in this place of illusion, right? The things that we feel aren't working for us are going to feel more intense for whatever reason. They're gonna show up differently for all of us. So whenever we feel these energies creeping up on us, Leo, this is where we want to be aware and mindful that you have control over this. If you're able to center yourself, ground your energy and breathe through it, clear some of the things that are creating that stress and worry because there's something repeating itself in your mind. Uh, Leo, if you're able to transfer this energy onto a sheet of paper or even visualize it kind of uh, evaporating out of your mind and coming to this place of um, quiet, no noise, you're now making room for spirit to connect with you. The guidance is going to come through and this is where you're going to be able to see how to get through whatever it is that you're getting through, okay, in the way that you need to. So you're going to receive the sense of awareness. Um, 
ideas and just this uh, feeling or nudge to do something, okay, to take action. This is spirit. This is, uh, this is what happens when you're opening space for spirit and this is how it works through you. So we have to clear this energy because some of us might feel like we're blocked. It's not that you're blocked. It's just the energy. There's too many things going on in your mind and it's too uh, packed in there. There's no room for spirit to come through. So you have to clear that space, clear the clutter. Sometimes we can do this um, by just clearing the space that we spend the most time in. This could be clearing your home, clearing and cleansing the energy around you, uh, using incense or sage, um, even lighting a candle and setting an intention and waiting for that information to come through. Pay attention to your dreams right now as well, um, Leo, because, and I've been saying this, I feel there's something happening in your dreams here. I don't know if any of you are receiving a repeating dream. Maybe this is creating fear. This could be a nightmare. Um, this could also just be a dream of someone that's showing up in your dream that you had been wanting to, or this is someone that has passed on and is on the other side, but keeps bringing messages to you. So it's almost like the same kind of feeling or familiarity around this dream, but it's almost like it's the message of this is the same, but it's happening in different ways. So if you're able to write down your dreams here, Leo, I feel you're going to decode this message that is coming through. And this is how spirit works with us. I always find like we're playing charades with uh, spirit all the time. It's kind of like we're putting together the pieces and we're trying to figure out what this and that means. But the things that you're supposed to kind of, um, the things that come in into your awareness are the things that you're meant to see here. It's not like you're looking around to see if you're going to find something that spirit wants to show you. You don't have to look for it. It just shows up for you in the moment that you need it. So that these are the kind of things that you want to be aware of and clearing this clutter, this worry, because it tends to show up on our physical body as some sort of a physical ailment that we feel. And I don't know if any of your body, your bodies are screaming at you. It's kind of like, Rawr! it's kind of like something isn't right. And maybe there's some tensing or clenching happening with your body. This is what I'm feeling here with this energy today. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any kind of medical advice here, Leo. If you have any kind of physical ailments, anything going on with your health, please seek medical help. Okay. Um, what I'm feeling is there's something triggering this like response in your body here to kind of act out and you need to address this because this can over time uh, become worse so you want to kind of nip it in the bud before it kind of goes all crazy okay so this is what it, what is coming up so there's a cycle there's an old pattern that you're leaving behind here leo and it might seem foggy you might not see things very clearly because of this lunar eclipse we've got also a solar eclipse which are kind of creating this flipping and flopping energy. This is kind of what I'm feeling with these eclipses. And this flippy floppy is kind of like a slippery energy where you feel like you got everything under control and it slips out of balance. And you're kind of juggling with this. This is a, what, a, what is ultimately happening. And you got this, Leo. You know how to handle this, okay? So don't ever be afraid of what comes in front of you. Instead, take a look at it, analyze it, review it. Make sure that, in fact, it isn't scary. Because sometimes we think things are scary, but they're not. So the fear that's there, throw that onto the side here. And then let's take a little look at this and make sure everything's what it's supposed to be. Um, there's growth coming in, expansion coming in. It's almost like you're about to reach this level where you're able to move a little bit more further in life. So this is kind of what this card feels like to me, where you're going to experience this in your social settings and the environments that you find yourselves in, whether this is your workspace, um, in your family, like you're just seeing growth. It's almost like you're being introduced to new people. There is parting energies here as well. So it's, it's the connections that you have that you've made, how you're showing up with those connections and how you choose to interact with them. I feel this is going to be a little bit um, shifty here. So what's happening is there's almost like the seriousness that is coming into your life, Leo, where you're really wanting to take your life seriously. You're wanting to really put some effort into make changes and live 
a life where you're more in alignment to the path that you're walking down. You have a vision, you have a dream here. And it's the way that you're choosing to show up in the world, the way that you're choosing to express yourself and the way that you're choosing to communicate. And there's a power of effect that is happening here for those of you that are really in alignment with your true essence, with your soul, um, being your authentic selves and living in that truth. Um, this is where this growth is going to happen. This is where you're in alignment with people that actually uplift your energy and actually understand you. Um, that's the biggest part of this is some of you may have lived a life where you felt that the people in your life didn't really understand you. And maybe there's some belittling and putting you down, but I feel there's almost like this shifting where you're parting ways from these people here, Leo, and, a, and you're now in alignment with people that actually get you, that are more aligned to you and your energy. And it just feels like it's not that much work to communicate and converse and exchange energies with these people. Um, so this is kind of like your soul tribe. You're, you're moving up to a higher frequency, a higher vibration with this. And it's a new energy that you're experiencing. And this is where you can really open up to your creativity. This is where you can really allow yourself to kind of explore the possibilities around your talents, your skills, your abilities to be curious around your passions and your desires. So it's opening up room for you. This is what's happening. And this is where spirit guides are leading you towards. So even if there's darkness along your path here and you're not able to see, we all carry a flashlight. That's our inner light. So allowing ourselves to shine bright through these energies that are kind of um, tricky, I feel like. These uh, eclipse energies are really tricky. They shake things up and there's like fear that creeps up with this. So be mindful of this. The fear isn't real. It's just an illusion. So leave that to the side. It's okay if you feel the fear. It doesn't mean it should stop you, okay? So you're meant to actually explore and go further here, okay? And this is where things are going to shift. This is where you're going to experience that change of situation in your life. This is where that wheel of fortune, that cycle, all of this is actually taking place. It's it's almost like this, um, you're feeling the magic in the air, Leo, even though things are kind of topsy-turvy here for some of you, you know that things are happening for a reason. I really feel for some of you, this is a manifestation that is now taking formation and this is the first process of it. And sometimes this can throw us out of our comfort zone, but know that this is actually a blessing in disguise, especially if it's coming in in a way that you're not expecting. And this is usually how it shows up in ways that we're not expecting. It leads us toward a different direction, poof, you're kind of gone from one place, you're in another. This is kind of how it feels like it's, it's a really quick energy. So I feel the transition when it does happen, happens very quickly with this. So it is like that poof, all of a sudden you're somewhere else. And um, it's reminding me of myself. Um, and this is the only thing that I can go to right now because this is the information I have through my life's experience is myself going from the dental world into this world of YouTube tarot spirituality. It was like, poof, I was one day here and now I'm here. How did all that happen? It happened so quickly, right? And here we are. It's a 180 degrees from where I was. This is what I feel is happening for some of you. And some of you might be in the present moment, experiencing it as it happens. And other view, uh, other view, others of you are seeing the poof where it's like one minute you were here and now you're here. And it's kind of like, oh my gosh, how did I even get here? This is what I feel like this is going on with this energy for you. Um, good luck is there. This is initially good luck. And how this wheel turns, whether it's in your favor or not, because this can turn in which way, in one way or the other in a good way or a not in a good way, right? So what has to happen here is you need to understand that you're going through a transformation, that things are shifting and you have to tap into this energy of the opening card. So feel free to write this uh, down, this message and carry it with you to remind you, Leo, that you are worthy of all the good things that are coming your way because if you start to reject them or if you start to self-sabotage your way through this, then you're repeating another cycle in your life, right? And 
when this shows up, it's not going to feel comfortable. It's going to be throwing you out of your comfort zone, but this is your alert. This is letting you know that there is a transformation taking shape right now because you're out of your comfort zone. This is giving you an opportunity to grow. Let's see what this whole change is about. Why is this happening? What am I supposed to learn from this? Because right now, um, this flippy floppy energy is bringing in a superpower for you. So whether that's patience or calm or something that you need to walk through this new journey in your life, this new cycle, this is what is ultimately happening here for some of you. So be aware that whatever is happening is for a reason and perhaps you lit a candle, set an intention or prayed for something and it's now taking shape. And it can't take shape in the cycle that you were in. It has to take a new form. And this is what's ultimately going on. So just ride the wave of this energy here, Leo, because it's taking you to a place that is uh, very, very magical for you. Okay. So remember beginner's luck is at play here as well. So, um, go check out your luck and see kind of where it, uh, manifests for you in your lives here. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to pull a surrender card for you. So full moons, lunar eclipses, eclipse season is a perfect time where things are parting ways and new energies are coming in. So we're going to see what it is that you have to release and let go of here, Leo. This is part of that nine of swords energy here for you. So what is it that you need to surrender at this time? So surrender comparisons with other people, Leo, very powerful here. You are not here to compete with anyone. You are here to rule your reality. All right. So comparisons out the window. So the message here on this card is keep your eyes trained on yourself, Leo, not on others. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Okay. Learn more about yourself. This is what it's saying here. And it's almost like I'm getting a peacock energy. It's kind of like, uh, be like a peacock and shine your colors in the world here, Leo. So this is what is happening here. All these beautiful feathers, the colors, I love it for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a healing heart oracle message. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook, okay? So we always need to heal our hearts, especially when we're going through energies like this. And I feel sometimes we forget to, to do that. So this is what this message is for you today, Leo. So we are getting trapped heart. Step outside your comfort zone. Uh, Leo, I'm getting Taurus coming through. I just wanted to call you Taurus here. So there's a Taurus jumping in here. So I don't know if you're around a Taurus right now, Leo, or if you have Taurus somewhere in your birth chart. So the number 17 is coming up on this card. This could be a number of signi significance for you. 17 days and also 17th of the month is coming up around the message of this card. So what a beautiful card. I love this. So trapped heart, the number 17, here we are. So this starts with dear heart. I know you feel trapped and confused as you are not sure of whom to turn to for help in what direction to proceed. At times it may appear as though no matter what you do, someone seems upset or disappointed. Inside you may suffer with uncertainty and experience heavy suffocating emotions. That's that nine of uh, swords energy here. So you may even feel like pushing it all down and numbing yourself. After all, you have done that before. However, there is a wiser part of you that says, please, please breathe and feel Leo. While it would be easy to continuously occupy yourself, you are being asked to sit quietly with your feelings and allow them to reveal to you what you need to do in order to create more freedom in your life. This could be extremely uncomfortable for some of us as you may need to leave a toxic relationship, change your career, work on transforming old habits, move to new, a new area or take, take responsibilities for your finances or your health even. So whatever it is, you have to face the truth of your situation and gain the courage to step outside of your comfort zone as it is only there that you will find yourself and the freedom of choice you seek. All right. Now this comes with a heart healing message, which is, and you can write this message down, this part of the reading. So grab your journal and record the situation you find yourself in, Leo. Start to explore whether or not you can see any aspect of what you want to run away from or resist being mirrored to you from the other person or people. 
If so, you are willing to take responsibility or adjust. Are you willing to take responsibility or adjust? Are you being treated harshly by others and not heard? Are you feeling this right now? How do you treat yourself, Leo? Are you really trapped in a situation or have you convinced yourself that there is no way out? That there is no way out. If there was a way that allowed you to move towards self-love, freedom and healing, what would it be? Give yourself time to meditate on what that, what that may look like and what preparations you may need to do in order to move forward. All right. So that is your heart healing message today, Leo. Trapped heart. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull an animal spirit card for you and see what it is that we get here. So some of you are seeing uh, animals or insects in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Leo, we are getting hummingbird miracles. You are going to experience miracles. Those of you that are seeing hummingbirds, this is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen them, you're seeing one now, you're seeing them now, and you're going to see them. All right, so the message here is you are the joy bringer. Leo, remember that. Let your inner light shine. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness, my friends. So again, spread the miracle of happiness. It's inside of you. Okay, and you're going to see it all side of, outside of yourself when you start to shine it out in your own life. So look at that. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Leo, opportunities. Opportunities are coming, knocking on your door here. If you've been seeing the number 60 or the number sixes, this is your confirmation today. The number six is a number of success. This is success in your relationships, in how you present yourself and show yourself in the world, in those relationships and connections in your family, in your workspace, okay? I'm getting 60 days around the message of this card and also six days, six weeks, and six months. So you're getting help from above. Remember that. You're taking step. You're going through life's changes right now. There's a fresh start available for you. Um, you're also under divine support. So you are safe and you are protected as these changes are taking place in your life, Leo. So lots of green on this card. Perhaps you're seeing a lot of green in your life right now, Leo. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching